Hi, welcome to this Physiolog Extract, where I'll be showing you a bit of data on how saturated fat may have an impact on a particular type of cholesterol in individuals that express this particular type of cholesterol. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. So if you've ever heard your doctor tell you that you have a high ApoB type of LDL cholesterol, then that is the cholesterol that was investigated in this particular study, along with total cholesterol. So in these particular individuals, which was found in a particular study that I dissected, and of course I've got my notes as well as the study itself in far more detail than what I'm gonna explain here uh, that you can check out and is linked to this piece of content. In this study, they compared two groups. They had one group that was a low saturated fat intake group, and they had another group that was a high saturated fat intake group. Calories were controlled between both groups, and the high saturated fat intake group consumed 21% of their calories from saturated fat, and the low saturated fat group consumed only 9% of their calories from saturated fat. So then they did a comparison after three weeks of being on each diet. And what they found is triglycerides or blood fats trended towards being higher in the saturated fat group. Not only that, they did actually have a significantly higher level of co total cholesterol as well as low density lipoprotein, which is that kind of what's been considered so far, quote unquote, the bad cholesterol. So in those three ways, we did see increases in the saturated fat condition. So what this study tells us is that saturated fat intake leads to an increase increase in cholesterol, total cholesterol, as well as LDL cholesterol, as well as triglycerides in individuals that have a sensitivity in terms of having a higher proportion of ApoB style LDL cholesterol. So they have a, they have cholesterolemia which would be considered usually higher total cholesterol, but in this situation, there is a higher proportion of ApoB style cholesterol, which means that the LDL particles, which are, which are low density lipoproteins, tend to be smaller, and therefore the idea is that they can move into the arteries more easily and therefore clog up those arteries and lead, wreak a bunch of havoc. So, for those particular individuals, I'm not saying that this is necessarily going to translate to healthy individuals, but for those individuals that if your doctor has told you that you typically have higher ApoB compared to ApoA le levels of LDL cholesterol, then you may want to consider avoiding saturated fat or at least lowering your saturated fat specifically because that seems to have a detrimental impact in terms of increasing total cholesterol and triglyceride levels. So hopefully that came across clearly. And with that said, of course, you can check out all my notes. You can check out the study itself, which will be linked to this content. And with that said, I hope I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. See ya.